Hey there, fellow vampires, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Crimson Empress, Episode 2, Ghoul. And Glitter leveled up. So Glitter, let's say... I'm going to give you... Hmm. I'm going to do another level of presence. Trying to get your social up as high as we can so that our conversion rituals our violent conversion rituals uh, don't result in death as often. I think what I'm also going to do is to set up um, some columns. So that I can roof up. And these columns will likely eventually be replaced by buildings because this whole fortress this whole citadel you know will be developed over time but this is just so that it can get to the front gate area without going into the sun i don't know if i Ooh, glitter A lot of micromanagement. Here, let me build this first. It will be a little safer. Oh, and she's starting to catch fire. There we go. She, her construction skill is not very high, so it takes her a while for her to build up uh, the pillars. Is it zone restriction time? No, I think I can manage it with my, uh, just careful micro micromanagement. And a heat wave. Heat doesn't matter to a vampire at all. Okay, we almost have all the pillars built. Uh, let's switch. Where is she trying to do? Oh, build the door? Don't do that. All right, it's dark enough that I don't, don't have to worry about them anymore. So Glitter, I no longer want you on construction. Go back to stone cutting. And it looks like the first batch of uh, smoked meat is ready. So I'm ready for some prisoners if the storyteller would, you know, attack me. So this project here is going to take uh, a lot, like 1400 stone. So it'd be really nice if I got some slaves. I'm gonna make a long sword for myself. Make sure it's made out of steel. Don't want a, a wooden long sword. <clears throat> That's how to kill vampires. <laughs> Is it possible to buy raids? Not without Twitch Toolkit. And uh, Twitch Toolkit doesn't work very well for me. So we do have a. Forced weather event. Someone named Hash Brown? Seriously? A dude with a food name is going to show up to a vampire coven? Your last name is Fryer. You're a fried Hash Brown. Holy moly, is this a bad idea. So a rainy thunderstorm for seven days, and Hash Brown joins. He is some sort of butcher, but he doesn't say much more than that. So I'm going to pull you all about uh, taking on uh, Hash Brown. Should we accept the forced weather?
great bow is done. Ah, it's poor quality. Maybe I'll make another. Was hoping for something not poor. Whisper skill here is uh, eight. It's low, but not like poor quality low. But I guess I'm wrong. It is technically poor quality low. Alright, I'm just gonna end this poll early, because uh, all of you say yes. So, Hash Brown, welcome. So, let's take a look at him. Hard work, cannibal, volatile. Uh, he has a bit of melee. He is already of our ideology. So, I'm gonna have you all vote on what to do with him in just a second. Uh, he is not vampire, so he is going to require a bed. So I'll slap together a bed for him. For now. He might become a vampire if you all vote for that. So question. What to do with Hash Brown? Also, the first raffle for the first character. So any of my subscribers in the chat are eligible to become Hash Brown. Uh, if you just type in the chat between now and when that timer is up. So here are the choices. What to do with Hash Brown, and I need to explain a little bit of the mechanics. So, a slave would be someone that remains human and just becomes enslaved by us. A ghoul is someone who's sort of half human, half vampire, where they get bonded to a vampire like a familiar, and they have a little bit of vampire abilities, but they can also go into the sun. So they're very helpful in, in aiding vampires because sometimes vampires um, no, don't make the bow. Sometimes vampires need to, you know, be rescued from being in the sun or something like that. And then there is full-fledged vampire. Now, keep in mind, one of the rules is if we have him become a full-fledged vampire... Oh, don't make dark light candles out of smoked meat. Never again. And actually, don't make any more. One of the other rules is any full-fledged vampire that joins us, regardless of whether they believe in our ideology already or not, has to go through violent conversion. So Hash Brown might die if he goes through violent conversion. Just just to throw that out there so that you know. So it's not necessarily a great idea uh, unless you think that they're going to be a real benefit as a vampire to have them go through violent conversion. So a violent conversion is a ritual. And I do have a uh, I have a mod here called adjustable ability cooldowns, which changes the ritual cooldowns to zero. So what this ritual is, is essentially it is a convert or die. So the mystic runs the ritual and it forces someone to convert to our ideology. And if they don't, they are put to death. And every single vampire that we ever add into the colony has to go through said ritual. No exceptions. What I am going to do, though, is because Hash Brown, at least for now, uh, can go into the sun. It really depends on how you vote. But uh, I'm going to have him make us some drugs. Vampires might not eat food, but they sure do like their wine and beer and tea. So let's get wine, beer and tea. And he has a level three skill. So I think that means that we have to do hops. Okay, Hash Brown. Go farming. And Whisper leveled up again. So now she has the sleep skill. I'm uh, periodically checking the way that I normally pull you all 
to see if the website that I use for that is online. It isn't yet, but if it is ever back online, I will switch back to it. Also, this new guy probably wants to eat on a table. We don't really have a dining room yet, but uh, I can add a table and stool for him. Is there a benefit keeping humans if ghouls can go into the sun? So, um, yes, there is. Oh man, hash brown is burning up too. I'm gonna have to cool him down. Um, so one of the benefits of keeping humans is ghouls need to be given vitae uh, regularly or they revert back to humans. And then if they run out of vitae, they become very violent. So ghouls do require a little bit more micromanagement than humans do. For a human, I can just stick a human into a prison cell and feed off of them and ignore them completely. Or I can enslave them. Either way works. Um, whereas if I, uh, if I, you know, turn them into a ghoul, they have to be managed. So if you guys have voted for him to become a ghoul, uh, the raffle timer just kicked off and it's going to Banish Puppet. So Banish Puppet, let me know what you want to rename Hash Brown. It will be your choice. And then you guys want me to turn him into a ghoul. So I'm going to turn him into a ghoul with Whisper. Uh, Whisper is a melee vampire, so I'm going to create him into a melee ghoul. So here we go. He now has a Vitae addiction. And he has blood and Vitae. So we can drain the blood from him and give him Vitae. Uh, so if I, like, feed off of him right now, you can see his blood draining down. So his two units of blood got shifted over to Whisper. And what I can say is... Feed off of all humans non-lethally. Um, so they will use Hash Brown to feed. If I want to turn him into a uh, a ghoul, a bonded ghoul, I'll explain that in just a second, um, I would have to feed off of him three nights in a row. So let me delete the other food restrictions. And create a new one called Humans. And this is going to be smoked meat and meals. And he is going to be set to humans. And I'll just call the no food vampires. Uh, as far as the drug policy goes, I'm going to create a new policy, no drugs for now. And then once I start to get drugs, uh, I can create a policy around it. Alright, Hash Brown is going to require a passive cooler, and then because of the heat wave that we're experiencing, probably I need to go make like a shade cone or, or a cowboy hat or something for him, because he's going to burn up otherwise. So let's make a tricorn hat for him. I'm going to need a big jail, so I can keep him jailed or enslaved. Uh, slaves, I would say, are better than prisoners. Prisoners have to be fed by hand and, you know, so, you know whatever. Uh, slaves, much, much, much easier to do with. All right, so there his, his tricorn hat. Oh, uh, Whisper wore it. I'll make two more. Actually, I'll make one more, and then for Glitter, I'll make something to help with... Um, social impact. So I'll make a ladies hat. Actually, I'm going to make two ladies hats. Forget that cowboy hat. Cheers. Thank you, Scorpioza and Shield for gifting out subs. Most recently. There's so many. I'm sorry that I didn't go through the entire activity feed, but uh, I hope you all understand why. 
So banish. I'm gonna name Hash Brown here Banish Puppet, unless you want to change it. So if you're playing this for yourself, one advice that I would have is to turn on the learning helper and use the learning helper to learn about vampires. So I'll read off just what's relevant. Ghouls are mortals that possess both blood and vampiric vitae. Once given vitae from a uh, Demidor, a master, they resist damage and can learn vampiric abilities. After a few seasons without vitae, vitae, ghouls enter withdrawal and lose their abilities. Beware, ghouls without vitae become quite violent. And then there's also blood bond. If a drinker tastes vitae from the same vampire on three separate nights, they will become blood bonded to the vampire. They become absolutely loyal to their regent. Uh, their master, and become immune to domination powers from other vampires. If a vampire does not feed them any vitae over a season, they will lose their bond. So I could, if I chose to, I could bond him to me. But I'm going to choose not to yet. The reason being, if he misbehaves, um, oop, that's not what I meant to do. If he misbehaves, it's helpful that Glitter can use abilities on him. Whereas if I do blood bond him, uh, it won't be possible for other vampires other than Whisper herself to stop him um, using abilities. Okay, so I just topped his, uh, I topped him up with Vitae. He now has six out of seven vitae, so that's going to stick around a while. And then I fed on him, because, you know, I was hungry. So you want your name to be Ghoulian. Okay. You got it. I think it's probably helpful for some of the most combat capable um, non-vampires to not be enslaved. So for instance, if Glitter or Whisper stood out in the sun for too long, like she's trying to do right now, um, she would need to be rescued. And she would need to be rescued by a daywalker, either a human or a ghoul or something like that. So they're very handy to have around just for the safety and security of vampires because vampires are insanely powerful, but they do have specific weaknesses uh, that need to be managed. I'm actually going to shrink this zone and make the other half cotton. Get uh, poker and billiards would be kind of nice. If we get a sunblocker, we'll be amazing at home. But one of the goals of the series is to raid Empire bases, the Kingdom of Light bases. And yeah, you're definitely going to need uh, to be careful in the sun when you're raiding an enemy base. I should bring Glitter and Whisper out to feed once the sun goes down. He is not super happy either. There we go. A lady's hat. Dashing. You look dashing, Glitter. Oop, sorry, Golian. Stealing some of your blood. <laughs> But for that blood, I'm going to give you the tricorn. The tricorn hat is is better for uh, heat protection. So now his upper limit isn't high enough, but it's higher. Uh, the other thing I could do for him is a cape. I'm going to prefer to make capes over um, dusters. So I'll make him a cape. I also want to make myself and uh, glitter a cape too. Let's take a look at the... Ooh, Mufflo. Mufflo liked to fight back, 
So they might. That one didn't. And let's put it to sleep and feed on the sleeping mega sloth. So here's Glitter fighting the Warg. Here, I'll just blood strike the Warg. Boop. And then we can just heal vampirically, which is very fast. The Mega Sloth doesn't like to be drained of blood. Doesn't matter. Okay. Vampires are very hard to kill. Sunlight can kill them permanently, but even when they die, if they're not in sunlight, they can resurrect. Which is... pretty strong. They resurrect, but they're not very controllable when they do, because they kind of go insane. And they get very violent. So we're still working on that wall. It's going to be a while, because it is a big project. Heat wave is over, so Gullion is going to be a lot more comfortable. And Whisper leveled up again. Uh, let's see. Let's give you Potence. Boost to melee skill and manipulation per level. So now your melee is 15. And then if you see here, he is happy to be in the sun. As you can see, he's, it's not dangerous for him. Uh, but he also has skills. Now he doesn't level up nearly as fast as, like, a vampire would. So it's not like your ghouls can outmatch vampires without an insane amount of, uh, work. There is actually... So there's multiple clans in this mod, and one of them is Nosferatu. But we won't have or be one of them, because there's really in this world only... Tremere and uh, Ventru vampires. Ooh, Kingdom of Light. Let's take a look. You are a fire bomber, so you're a pyromaniac, industrious. Um, cool. Well, I'm absolutely going to capture them. There's no doubt about that. And then the question is what to do with them. Uh, and I'll be leaving that up to you. So let's see here. I am... Gonna start the prison cells here. So, what to do... And there's the pole. We can enslave a ghoul slave or a full vampire. So they are preparing a while, so I have time to build their cell. Because they're a light bringer, so... We're going to want to imprison them and convert them one way or another. They're industrious pyromaniac, crafting, shooting... Um, and they come with a built-in death acidifier. That's always fun to deal with. Are the meat smokers going right now? No, they're not. Uh, I could have Ghoulian bring meat to them. We just did the butcher a second ago, so it just takes a minute for uh, for the guys to haul it in there. It's a hauling job, not a cooking job, so it often gets ignored. Oh, we ran out of fuel? Come on now.
There we go. Whisper, keep working over here. All right, slaves coming in. Individuals stand no chance against vampires. As you will see in a second. Good night. Good fight. Good work. Good hustle. You're unconscious. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna drain you of some blood. Because I'm hungry. And... You're naked. I'll let her wear clothing, but not armor. Art patron! Coming in. So you... Are going to be converted. Which means, Glitter... Let's have you work the warden job. Can you see the generation and clan of both vampires? So, I custom made the clans, uh, but Whisper and Glitter are Generation 10 and Generation 12. I don't know if there's any art patron... I could buy guinea pig. Nope. Nothing for me to buy. Yeah, if you want to find it, uh, look up Jackrell on his Patreon page. He has a... He has sort of like a lowdown of all of the... Uh, different vampire clans... Bloodlines, rather, on his uh, Patreon page. I don't have that link readily available for you. Mostly because I custom made our uh, our bloodline, so it's not it's not default. All right, Gullion. almost done sewing. Good. This forced weather stuck around for three days so far. So we have about four more days of it. Definitely eager for it to uh, end. Eh, fortress is coming together. I like this little embrasure um, portholes there. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nice to fire through those. Especially when Glitter has a better bow than a great, a poor great bow. Do tree textures are nice? Yes, I really like them. I right, moved the trading spot so they're not so close. I, f I felt a little claustrophobic. Another thing we might want to grow is Tinctoria. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw down a whole bunch of Tinctoria because it's really easy to grow. And that will allow us to dye our clothing way more interesting colors than what we've got going on right now. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to grab their gun and gold and haul it in, because I can always sell it. And Whisper leveled up again. Let's... what we were giving you. I'm gonna give you... Blood Shield. So Blood Shield is kind of like a sh temporary shield belt that you use... that you cast with... Vitae. Very handy.
Oh, and Glitter leveled up too. And now you have Presence 2, which puts your social up to 18. Nice. And I'll start working on the Auspex and Obfuscation trees soon. Oh, Glitter, you might want to, like, uh, feed her. No, no, not feed on. Jesus. Oh, uh, it's because... Food restriction is defaulted to vampires. So I'm going to flip those around so that I actually feed them. Uh, so let's do that. Humans. And that will be smoked meat. And meals. And vampires. Okay, so now she's actually being... She'll be fed. And by default, no meds. And I'll use meds if I think they need them. Okay, that's not what nomads look like. Try again. <laughs> so Whisper's done with maybe half the wall or so, maybe a little bit more than half. It's a long process. Glitter is just cutting the granite for it. Oh, and Dosco converted, so now enslave. You all voted that uh, she becomes just a regular old slave. Uh, so what I will need probably is proper slave quarters. And all these buildings here could be temporary if you all vote for them to, uh, to change up. I'm happy to move things around. Wrong side. Nope, still wrong side. <laughs> and Kingdom of Light coming in again. Just one. Steadfast, Greedy, Nimble. And same pole again. What to do with the prisoner? Enslave. Well, I guess in prison should be an option as well. And there it is. They are preparing a while as well. So let's go ahead and get uh, get that set up. Are slaves able to do crafting? They are, yes. Golian right now is being assigned to do farming because vampires really can't grow or plant cut without, you know, super danger to themselves because sun. And yeah, this dummy's gonna go down in a heartbeat. Oh, you shooting at me? That's eh, not gonna work. Look at you with all your technology, your little gun links and your LMGs. And Whisper here doesn't care. Now, if I do have slaves running around, another thing that I'm going to have to consider is to limit, um... Yeah, I'm going to drink you. You shot at me, I'm taking the blood back. That's how it is. 
is to limit um, what kind of exposure that the potential slaves have to weapons. I'm also going to need to make uh, slave collars, and I'm going to need to make slave straps. So here's slave collars, steel, and textiles that are not, let's say, thrumbo. And then body straps. Not thrumbo either. I'm going to need more leather uh, than I currently have to uh, to make these. So let's go muffalo hunting. Oops. I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, well, I'm about to get a lot of blood back, so that's fine. Oh, the whole herd. Copy that. You guys want to fight? Fine. We'll fight. Well, I guess we're going to get our leather. <laughs> I'm going to do a live feed on that muffalo. So here you'll see the tanking power of a of a vampire. And this is without armor. And they're all dead. And I'm going to feed on them to death. One strategy uh, to be able to deal with the muffalo here is like you could hypothetically just have a giant farm of animals that you feed on. That's not really my MO. You know, I want to shed blood. Kind of absurd. Yes, it is. They're they're kind of strong. So your will is four, and you're a very heavy believer. So Dosco should be joining pretty soon. Theophilus is going to take a while because of the conversion. And you guys want to enslave Theo as well. Got it. All right, knowing that we're going to have them soon, I'm going to focus on um, equipment more than focusing on the wall for a moment. And that'll also allow Glitter to catch up on um, these stone blocks that I need. I have a lot of slate, but not a lot of granite. Good. And the Tinctoria is done. Okay, that long sword is for Gullion. And then we're gonna have Whisper focus on the clothing that we're gonna need. Can you upgrade a ghoul to a vampire? You can, yes. So at some future date, we could decide, hey, let's just embrace Gullion and give him vampirism. But in our rules, um, he would have to go through a violent conversion again. Our rules are pretty clear. Anyone that becomes a vampire has to go through a violent conversion. No exceptions. A quest. Caravan is being harassed by Arctic foxes. Uh, should we... Should 
Should we accept the fox's quest? Yes or no? Where's the squirrel? Don't worry, Gullion. He's dead. Thank you for tuning in to Crimson Empress, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 23rd and July 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me about this series, please let me know in the comments below. But keep in mind that the series has since ended. It's streamed one time only. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams that adjust for your time zone. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers, as well as viewers like you that support the channel and those that showed up to the live stream. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow vampires. <laughs>